yeah welcome to structure analysis course so this course is basically offered for a third year btech civil engineering student and uh, final year uh, mechanical engineering as an open elective they opt for this course so this course is very important as a for structural engineer that is for civil engineer as well as mechanical engineer so yeah the course instructor is obviously me this is a 40 hour course and it is three credit course there is no are uh, practical there will be three lecture per week and followed by one tutorial class and uh, here you can uh, actually here i have opened one uh, google classroom like if uh, if you go if you click this link you will get uh, that uh, website and uh, as a student you can register and uh, this access code you can enter there and automatically you will get into that class structural analysis class so there uh, i will post all the assignments or maybe any video lecture or anything any reference material i'll post on this google classroom website so please um, visit this website regularly for you know for more updates okay so coming to the objective you now in a before studying or before doing any job in reality or uh, we will first we'll ask ourselves why we are doing what is the objective what is the goal of our life or goal of that work that we are doing after doing what should we learn so these are the basic questions we should ask uh, while studying or while studying any course or why when while doing anything like you are coming to a college you know so so what is the basic objective like why i came to college and after studying civil engineering or mechanical engineering or uh, rather say engineering what i will achieve okay so these are the basic questions we should ask ourselves so like that uh, for what is the objective of our structure analysis so this structure analysis is obviously focused on to analyze the structures it may be a civil engineering structure it may be a mechanical engineering structure well mechanical engineers, engineers can say we are not designing any structures well in due course we will see how it is helpful for the mechanical engineer also now what is the scope of this course anyway uh, scope so basically starting classes will be introduction to structure analysis so in this module we will discuss uh, that uh, basically this objective part if you see why you are studying the structure analysis course and uh, what is the use what is the you know practical exam that uh, practical implementation of structure analysis as a civil engineer as a mechanical engineer or whatever may be and then we will start our main you know main method uh, that is uh, structure analysis for determinant structures so in due course we will discuss so we will know we will get to know what is the determinant structure and uh, what is the indeterminate structure but for the timing this is the workflow or uh, this is the you know timeline we will follow then there are the two important methods we will discuss that is slope deflection method and uh, moment distribution method now learning outcome after learning this course for one semester you know six months more than six months what we'll get to know so learning outcome would be applied three moment equations and such analysis so basically what happens uh, these are the methods three moment equation here if you have seen uh, analysis of uh, different methods statically indeterminate or determinate structures here out of that one method is there three determinant or so many methods will be there so you will get to know these methods to analyze any structures now perform strain energy concepts and these are the all methods normally we will use for structure analysis they appreciate the importance of force method and deflection method these two methods are very important now you may heard of finite element method finite element analysis you may heard that is i think final year course we are finding so this basics of this course courses fea course is the deflection method of analysis so and FEA is the finite element is very powerful tool we can uh, simulate like any structures uh, for you know, earthquake motion or any motion like dynamic motion wind or your motor is inside them uh, inside the machine or big system and it is always vibrating so how it will affect to the nearer structures or even how it will affect to the its own structure you know so these all these things uh, basically the simulation is done using that uh, uh, finite element method and to and this deflection method is the 
basics of that finite learning method it obviously makes use of rolling loads in inference line diagrams for analysis this is actually more important for you know civil engineers like a rolling load means if you see a train is moving uh, on the bridge so or so what happens so every instance of time the vehicle is in different positions ultimately load it is varying constantly and, and obviously train has some specific length maybe it is 500 meter or whatever the length or maybe 200 meter so this 200 meter huge load uniform distributed in some particular 200 meter load it is moving entire span of you know, 8 kilometer 7 kilometer bridges so ultimately how it will affect the parts and how load will distribute towards uh, to the bridges that we will discuss on that point so obviously prerequisite of this course is mechanics of solid and uh, what i suggest is this course is uh, basically based on a mathematics so you need lot of mathematics in this course like differentiation integration vector algebra all these things every time you will use this mathematical tool so it is very important to, to know mechanics of solid as well as the basic knowledge of mathematics like differentiation and integration all these things now textbook will follow hibler uh, that is very standard the book internationally uh, all the reported universities will follow this book uh, structure management ninth edition pearson edition uh, this is a publisher so you will get this book from our library or you know even from e copy also you can purchase from online and the reference book I will follow Kashimali's book that is uh, structure analysis is also in international run. C.S. Reddy is our uh, Indian author very good book this is also available in our uh, library and Devdas Menon structure analysis is the professor from IIT uh, Madras and uh, this, is, this is a book very good so lecture wise what is the plan so basic lecture, the first lecture will be obviously introduction of lecture, introduction of structural analysis. Here we will discuss, you know, what is the background, how second is came, you know, all these things, substitution of structures and analytical models, you know, how practical models, maybe for example a machine or a building, how we will mathematically you know, model on a pen or paper. We cannot replicate the whole structure into a mathematical model. We make we should we sh we have to make some models models in the sense uh, for mathematical models some idealization some assumptions we we'll make and uh, and we'll do our analysis so how to analyze this analytical model we'll discuss and loads and structures what are the different load setting of the structure and all these things we'll discuss uh, equilibrium of supports so okay so gradually we'll discuss equilibrium of supports and reactions and then from lecture lecture 5 onwards these lecture 4 these are all basics of uh, maybe you can say recapitulation of your solid mechanics course up to this one then we will start assumption of uh, uh, that uh, 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 that critically determined structure actually how to solve or how to you know, analyze the structure from different methods we will discuss on that uh, now what is the statically determined structure that we will discuss on due course but uh, basically here on I will start then next lecture there will be trusses how to analyze the truss structure okay then uh, simple truss and then compound truss complex truss these all these things we will discuss then internal loads developed in the structure uh, you know how that internal load is developed from stress and all these things due to mending due to shear force when you mend all these things we will discuss then lecture 10 we'll discuss some cables and arches uh, three hinges four hinges and lecture 12 influence line diagram as we discussed like for moving loads if it is moving at the entire span how it will look like then influence line for spiritual determinant spiritual determinant maximum shear force response okay then deflection of beams so in you know in civil engineering structures or maybe in mechanical also you will find uh, for transferring the load we make one supporting structure supporting structure like uh, loads will come from your machine or you know human load will first transfer to the slab or then that slab load will go to beam beam will go to column then beam column to it will go to ultimately foundation so this is the load part uh, for the structural buildings so here if when the load is applied your beam will deflect maybe in some other manner so 
how to analyze like uh, for a given load what should be the what is the dis displacement at least theoretically so different methods are available for finding out this displacements for beams so these are the conjugate beam method momentary method super uh, position method principles of virtual work so these are the different methods are available so we will discuss one by one and we will solve um, even numerical problems also because we have one hour uh, tutorial class uh, per week then we will start analyzing intermediate structure and uh, again we will discuss what is intermediate structure in due course uh, so intermediate trials intermediate frames you know local buckling of buildings so all these things we will discuss in the terms of the maxwell theorem force displacement uh, then slope deflection equation this is another method for finding out the deflections and slopes in the beam so for the beam for frames building frames uh, so all these things we will discuss then last topic of the moment distribution methods using moment distribution method also even how can we analyze the structure my simple frame structure or beams uh, how to analyze so we will discuss and this is the last topic in your so introduction to structure analysis that is structure analysis course basic course obviously you are expected to read your textbooks regularly uh, and that uh, in all concepts maybe i may not cover in the class because of short of time maybe 40 hour lecture so it's very short time so it is obviously expected from the student that you should study these things regularly evaluation component here yeah, anyway we have a test one and uh, test two and obviously there will be mini project there will be quizzes and quiz will be always surprise so always uh, prepare for that and there will be enter exam so uh, for uh, uh, like last semester report was studied exactly same thing test one vertically 15 mark date yet not i think finalized so we'll uh, this uh, not uh, we will announce it in due course so the course says on syllabus closed book obviously test two 15 marks weightage and there will be mini project and assignment so regular mini project assignment that i will post on the website uh, with google classroom whichever i mentioned at the beginning of the lecture here you can uh, even if i give a soft copy that means if i ask for submit soft copy then you can upload in the website or you know, hard copy also you can submit so mini project obviously will use standard available softwares in the market and obviously uh, manually also we can calculate all these reflections and it basically structure and we will compare on that result so everyone will get different structures there may be different method of analysis and maybe different softwares also so ultimately you have at the end of the semester maybe at the before entrance exam i will take uh, the 10 minute presentation and obviously you have to submit the reports now the makeup policy obviously to complete 40 hour course you should attend all lectures like your attendance should be 100 percent although there may be an emergency situation where you can take leaves but your attendance is exactly 70 should be more than 75 percent otherwise you cannot sit in the examination i think you have experience in last semester also we are very strict on that 75 percent because this is UGC learning and even you should also know na, if out of 40 lecture if 75 percent uh, means you will miss 30 lecture 30 31 lecture you will miss uh, i mean you will attend and 10 lecture you will miss so ultimately you know will miss so many things so uh, we are expected to come attend 100 percent attendance in the whole semester of this course structure analysis and obviously you are free to contact me anytime uh, if i have i don't have any class you can come to my chamber and you can discuss okay so this was the handouts uh, for uh, this course and uh, let's hope for the best we'll discuss all these important parameters and this is very basic course for civil engineers as well as for the structural engineers uh, in due course you will understand how it is in you know, a basic course and what is the implementation what is the you know, uh, application of this course okay so next uh, so make sure that you have already registered uh, using maybe code has changed anyway uh, using the google classroom website for you know future updates okay fine so next class we will see and we will start our 
this course okay thank you